Hey guys, Damaris here coming to you with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be titled My Lost Palette. I know that um, not only myself, but there's plenty of people um, that do YouTube videos um, and tutorials that have those palettes that are hitting in your organizer that you forget about that you even had. So I did um, come across this palette. It is the Creative Me uh, palette by Coastal Scents. I love this palette, um, so if you don't have it, just give it a try. But yeah, guys, the video today would be based on that palette. If you like the look, just continue to watch. Starting with this um, light yellow from my Coastal Scents pod. Um, it is called Light Yellow. Okay, we're going to use this and put it on... Um, underneath our brow bone or underneath our eyebrow so we're just gonna pat that on and you can blend it a little down downwards Then going in with the same um, brush and the bright yellow, we're going to go into the corner uh, tear duct, just patting all the colors in place. We're just going to pat them in place. We will go in later on and um, blend them out. Now going in with a fluffier angle brush and um, this pretty orange, which you can barely see because of my light. There it goes. Pretty orange, and it's called Light Tangerine, and this is as well from that the Coastal Scents uh, Creative Me palette. With this color, we're just gonna pat it above our crease and just pat it underneath of the yellow. And this is going to serve us as a transition shade for the darker colors that we'll, we'll be placing. Like I said, you don't have to blend them out now because we will be going in and blending. Now going in with this color, this one is magenta. And we're gonna pat this one in place as well. And this one's gonna go in the middle of the eyelid. And this color, you can actually bring it up a little bit above your crease line. Now going in with this beautiful purple color, and this is the color Deep Grape. We're just going to take a clean um, angled brush, and we're going to take this color and just pat it on the outer part of our eyelid. Just pat this color in place. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going to start blending in with this purple. Just blending it in with the magenta color so it doesn't look um, so harsh. And you really can't see where the two colors meet. And then with the same brush that I used to add the magenta color, we're going to go ahead and just blend in that magenta with the yellow a little bit. Okay, now we're going to go on with this um, pretty pink color. And this one is neon bright pink. We're going to take that with um, a fluffy um, blending brush and we're just going to pat that in and at the same time start blending the colors in. We're going to pat this in above the purple and into that um, orange and just start um, in circular motions just start um, blending the colors in. Also I want to drag the pink towards the inner part of the eye as well. Once we're done blending, we will be going back in and adding more colors just to intensify the color some. So we want to blend blend the colors out and um, that way we don't have any like harsh lines. So with this bigger fluffy uh, brush, I'm just going to go in and blend my pink and my yellow um, a little. Now going in with um, the purple again and we're going to be tapping that in and also bringing the color up a little. I'm looking this way because my mirror is here, although my camera is on this side. But and with some more of the um Sorry, and with some more of the bright pink. Then in with the magenta again and and again like I said we will be going in and intensifying the colors and just patting more of the color um, in place as of when you start to apply your colors and you start blending them in sometimes they do tend to um, move out of place. Going back in with my yellow and brightening that inner corner a little and blending that in a little bit with that um, pink, that pink that I brought up to the front of the eye. Mm. Now I'm going to take my lighter yellow and go back into my um, brow bone area just patting more of the lighter yellow in place to again intensify the color that was um, blended 
away a little bit. Now going in with my NYC liquid liner, I'm just going to line my eyes and apply some mascara. going in with my NK uh, turquoise um, eyeliner pencil. I'm just going to line my waterline and also bring some of this color um, below onto my lash line as well so that I can it can serve as a base for the next color I'm going to use down there. And just using a regular angled brush with this beautiful blue color. And this blue is actually called electric blue. And we're just going to pat that in there and just apply it to uh, below the lash line. And just bring the color up a little bit underneath of your black liner. I'm just gonna dust some of the fallout from underneath. And then I'm gonna be using this CoverGirl um, Super Sizer mascara. This brush, brush is really good. The bristles are really thin and they really grab, pull your hair. I'm not one for fake lashes, but with a couple, just a couple coats of this mascara, it looks pretty good. Okay, and that's how I got this look. So, yeah, I'll be back with it. Okay, guys, so the look is complete. Added my foundation and my contour, some blush, and my highlighter. For my contour, I just used my um, NYC uh, Sunny Bronzer. This is my favorite contour slash bronzer for my blush I did apply the um, Palladio matte blush in the color herbal matte and then for my highlight I added uh, max soft and gentle and for my lips because I got so much going on on uh, with the eyes I decided to just keep it a little neutral so I just added this um, feline lip luster by uh, profusion and this one is in the color purr so yeah so this is my look for today guys I thank you guys so much for watching again and supporting um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up um, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already um, drop any comments down below that you you may have any suggestions any questions also just keep in mind um, my previous video there is there is um, a giveaway that I um, posted so if you guys are interested in that giveaway just um, click on my previous video so you guys can get details on that and you can see the prizes that you guys will be getting. I am doing two giveaways, one for Instagram and one for YouTube. So if you guys are interested in either or, just um, click on my last video and take a look. Thank you for watching. Thanks for the support. Bye guys. Thank you.